Rise of the Robots thinks it's a fighting game. Isn't that foolish? Extensively so. What do you think it is? Punishment for political prisoners? A playable form of army cooking? A mock-up for city slickers? Foreshadowing of a culture club reunion tour? It's obvious we should both hold this game in high regard. Sure, sure. It's easy to make fun of. What a ringing endorsement. The premise is simple. Like it would be in a real fighting game. Right. The automated Electrocorp robot factory has been taken over by its guardian robot, the Supervisor. The Supervisor has been infected with the Ego Virus, so now it's leading all the other robots in revolution. Didn't anybody tell that damn bot not to drink the wine at a dead show, man? Some people didn't learn anything from the 60s. To bring the factory back under control, Electrocorp has created you a cyborg. You don't look especially interesting, uh, certainly not as exotic as the robot you'll face, but you'll have to do. Yes, you'll be facing a wide variety of hostile robots. Machines designed for military use. Machines designed to replace blue-collar jobs. They all look cooler than you, but never fear, for you are BORING MAN! The graphics in Rise of the Robots are outstanding. It's easily the best-looking fighting game I've ever seen for the PC. How about the gameplay? All the robots were rendered in 3D Studio, and they all look great. How about the gameplay? Cutscenes abound, and they look just incredible. Trust me, you'll love them. How about the gameplay? Huh? How Oh, I get it. You're doing an impression of the design team. When you start a full game, you are the cyborg. You don't choose characters, you're just the cyborg. They're taking this plot thing a little too far. Even Keanu Reeves gets to be more than one character. You can play as the other robots, but only for one fight. And guess who you'll always come up against? Wild guess. Boring Man the Cyborg. Mmm, good call. Mama always said being cynical would come in handy. Now, let's talk about the gameplay. It's hateful! Well, you certainly seem to be in touch with your anger. Tell me more, young man. There's one attack button. One! All your punches and kicks come from one button in a joystick position. That's asinine! And how about those astounding special moves? One, sometimes two per character. And jumping? You can't jump over an opponent. Who the hell wrote this game, Ed Wood? No, I think it was done by the Outpost design team. Okay, now let's try some free association. What do you think of when I say, the Supervisor? The T-1000. Let's get serious. Has anyone on the Mirage Technology staff seen Terminator 2 a few too many times? It even morphs. How's that for lawsuit material? Actually, it doesn't matter if the boss bites, because nobody's going to actually play this turkey long enough to see it. So Rise of the Robots is about the worst fighting game that I've ever played. What about the PC version of Street Fighter 2? That started out as a good game, and just got viciously sodomized on its way to the PC. Yeah, Rise wasn't any good to start with. Kinda like New Kids on the Block. If Rise of the Robots was a movie, what movie would it be? I don't know, maybe a courtroom thriller starring Jean-Claude Van Damme and Suzanne Somers.